Hi guys, thanks for tuning into this video. In this video, we're just going to do a quick demonstration of the X Tool D7 tool. And in particular, what I want to show you is the type of live data you can get from the engine system within your vehicle. Now, it changes from vehicle to vehicle depending on which vehicle you're in. Obviously, depends on which systems and what type of engine it is, uh, things like that. But I just wanted to show you base, the, the basic sort of idea of how you would get the live data and what kind of information you would see. Um, I'm just, we're in an Audi A6 here, it's a 2016 Audi A6, so I'm just going to go through the motions of selecting the vehicle first of all, and then we can get to the engine information, so we we'll just click on this, so now I'm going to go full system. And here we are, it gives you like a full list of sort of systems that you can diagnose and potentially get live data for. On this Audi there's, there's tons of systems, but we're interested in the engine electronics. And then we're going to go to live data. Now what you can do is you can choose this one here, packet data flow, which puts it into subsections, but the data flow... Um, the default info just shows you absolutely everything. So this is regarding the engine system Okay, now there are lots of different systems or modules within the vehicle So you'll get live data for each of the modules, but this is just purely the engine um, Live data and this is an example of basically what you'll be able to get so um, some of the basic things like engine RPM uh, coolant speed transmission input speed uh, vehicle speed obviously zero at the moment uh, throttle valve position, accelerator pedal position, engine torque, oil fill level. So I'm just going to scroll through here and you know maybe it might help you if you are. You've got engine oil temperature. Now interestingly um, this will also give you the transmission temperature, the transmission oil temperature, but you need to go into the transmission system for that and then go to the live data for the transmission system, okay? Uh, so this is going to give you the, oil, the engine oil temperature. We've got air mass uh, values, intake temperatures, some of the main things that you'd be looking at when trying to figure out faults, injection quantity on the cylinders, your pre-injections there as well. Camshaft position sensors, live data, camshaft RPM. Now this is interesting as well, so it's DPF. Um, this time since last generation, it gives you seconds. Um, particle filler ash volume, particle filler suit mass calculated, suit mass measured. Um, when I say that one, actually, since last generation, that's in seconds, so um, whatever that is in seconds. Distance driven with mil, um, malfunction indicator light on, fuel pressure, intake pressure. Since last ignition, fuel high pressure. Injector real pressure calibration. vehicle distance driven that's an important one actually that's in kilometers um, what this does is this reads the ECU mileage of the vehicle so if you suspect that the vehicle has been clocked generally people will clock it or, or put the mileage back on the the instrument cluster and not the ECU of the vehicle so this reads it from the ECU so this is telling us that the vehicle has driven 171,000 kilometers basically uh, we have 106,000 miles so um, I'm assuming that that is going to be correct uh, so we're doing the calculation from kilometers to miles, so I will double check that, but that's what we have. Uh, and I'll go on, there are lots and lots of different live data. And you know, many, many people need different bits of live data depending on maybe what kind of fault they have and what kind of problem they're trying to diagnose. Um, what I will do as well as I will put the link to this kit in the description below this video um, There are fakes there are clones unfortunately and they can damage your vehicle So it's best to go with the link in the description below So just scrolling through so so far we're at 200 here I'll, I'll start going through we've got more DPF statistics here, but most of these values are showing zero 
getting a bit of information there. Um, yeah, I'll start trying to go through them a bit quicker, just because there is a lot to get through. And you can just pick up the information if you need to and figure out whether this is going to be able to do the live kind of data that you, you need from your vehicle with this tool. There are lots of good tools out there. This is one of our favourites at the moment. Just does everything really, really well. It's got Knox information as well. So we're over 400 bits right now. I've never actually checked to see how many bits of live data it will give. There we go, we're at the end here. 400, oh, it says here anyway, 460. Um, so what you could do, uh, you could just sort of select one of those. Um, click custom. And then you can look at the data in graph data. You can export the data, you can record it. So if you want to see it in graphing data, it'll show you as a graph, so it gives you a nice steady indication. Um, if you had like a math sensor that was sort of fluctuating quite a lot, then you'd know there's a clear issue there. But we've got this this cylinder pressure, uh, cylinder three, really, really steady here, so that's a good sign. So there's loads of different types, and as I say, that is just like the engine system you could go into the transmission system and you could get the live data from that again and then so you got the RPM ATF temperature 64 degrees coolant temperatures so it's going to give you lots of information it's 240 bits of information on this one so I'm not going to go through them all uh, but it's just an indication of the type of live data that the tool will give you. Um, it's the Xtool D7. I will pop the information or the link to this kit in the description below this video. It's a really good tool, actually. We've been using it quite a lot. Um, we found that uh, the the Xtool D7 can cover some vehicles that some of the usual tools that we normally use like the iCarsoft brand um, sometimes they fall short uh, and when they do this is generally the tool we go to because this kind of like does things that the, X, the, the, the iCarsoft tools can't so um, it's just worth noting that but it's all together a real it is a bit more expensive but it is all together a really really good tool um, there's genuines out there that's right there's fakes out there that can damage your vehicle so if you want to make sure you're getting the genuine kit just click on do uh, diagnostic world or I'll pop the link in the description below this video thanks for watching and I hope it helps